was the sight and sound of the Lady Rams capturing the winning point against Northwood to claim their second match win of the year. Congratulations to the Lady Rams. Good morning, Portage Middle School. Today is Thursday, October 10th, 2024, and here are your announcements. Because of iLearn testing, we have not been able to broadcast these last few weeks, so we can focus on achieving our great results in language arts and math. But we are back today. In volleyball news, after being victorious on Tuesday against Northwood, the Lady Rams volleyball team will be playing their last regular season match tonight against Shawnee at home. Come on, support Lady Rams, as this will be 6th and 7th grade team's last match of the year, and we have 8th grade recognition night for our 8th grade volleyball players. In other sports news, the cross-country team competed at Northrop last week. They completed, they competed this week at Jefferson. Jasmine and Janelli both ran well. And huge congrats to Corbin Rowling, who plays second at both meets and is competing well against some of the best in the conference. This week competes... The team competes next week at Northrop for a city meet. Good luck to the team. Clubs are starting at Portage. We have quite a few clubs. Here's a list of them. Robotics, Chess Club, Karaoke Club, Board Games, and Guitar Club, and TV and Broadcasting Club, and Academic Club. More specific announcements have been shared via Parent Square, so check out our clubs. If you're interested, reach out to the club sponsors listed in the Parent Square message or talk to Mrs. Newberry for more. In football news, the football team has a bye week this week, but they will face off next week against Blackhawk for their final regular season game of the year. Good luck to the team. In other sports news, Northside High School is hosting a free wrestling camp for 8th graders. Any FWCS 8th grade student, male or female, is able to attend and learn about wrestling in high school. Reach out to Mrs. Glamis Hutt for more information. It's October again, and this week around... And Halloween is around the corner. On Wednesday, October 7th, 30th, we will be hosting our annual truck or treat event. We have tables for AA groups, candy, trick or treating, and of course, a live band featuring teachers, students playing and singing spooky Halloween songs. This is a family friendly event, so bring your. All right, uh, this is your lunch roundup. Today is October 10th, so today uh, you will be having the pasta bar, buffalo chicken pizza, fruit cocktail, green beans, Mediterranean salad, breadsticks, garlic twizzle sticks, WG. I don't know what WG stands for. I think it means weird gangster, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That takes us to Tuesday, because notice we don't have school on the 14th, because we have the day off, and we have tomorrow off as well. So um, so on Tuesday next week, at the 15th, we will have cheese pizza, vegetable pizza, chicken dill sandwich, M&M cookie, pears, orange medley juice, and potato wedges. That sounds like a good lunch to have. On the 16th, so that would be Wednesday of next week, we're going to have Nacho Supreme. You can bet Mr. Bailey's going to go down to the cafeteria to have some Nacho Supreme and sit with his best friend, Caden Hine, who's going to be shooting uh, the three-pointers a lot this, this season during the boys' basketball season. Uh, you also can have the turkey and cheese sub sandwich, frozen juice cup, refried vegetarian beans, shredded lettuce, and, of course, pico de gallo. The next day after that, so that'll be uh, Thursday of next week, the pepperoni personal pan pizza will be coming back in the popcorn chicken bowl uh, with corn as well. Notice the use of alliteration. Uh, diced peaches, chocolate chip cookie, tossed salad. Uh, that sounds like a pretty enjoyable lunch. And then next week on Friday the 18th, we will have boneless chicken buffalo wings, macaroni and cheese, broccoli, and mandarin oranges. Mm -mm -mm, good. Well, that is your lunch roundup for uh, this week and into next week. And uh, enjoy the long four-day weekend, folks. Everybody in the world who goes to school for Fort Wayne Community Schools deserves a break at this point. Thank you.